Welcome back, Perry once more here to talk to you about your six-figure IT careers. So what have we done? We've gone through, we've given you a solid understanding of the core functions and components associated with information technology. So I'm hoping that you went through the IT primer. And if you haven't done the IT primer, I really want to encourage you to do that before you jump into the jobs. I know you might be like, no, I just want to see the jobs. Okay, that's fine. But I really like folks to do the IT primer so they get that foundation, that core overview of information technology. But that aside, we're going to really get in here and show you what careers we think are the best for you to focus on, given a number of variables going on in the economy. Those jobs, not just that pay well, but that they're going to be around for a while, that they're scaling up, that they're in demand, and that also you can achieve in a reasonable time frame. That's a big one. We're not looking for you to go back and get a four-year degree. We're not looking for you to go to grad school. We want you to wrap these gigs up in no more than like 18 months tops, and that's way too long. I want you employed in under a year in your new career, and I want you making six figures in like three, four years tops. That is my goal for you. That's what we're doing here. So in the time that it would take you to go back and get a four-year degree, I want you working in your chosen profession for most of that time, working your way to your six-figure career. So in the time, you know, or maybe a little more after you might normally go through a four-year degree, you're getting close to making that six figures. That's a great use of your time. You're not going to go into debt. You're going to be making that money. You're going to be growing professionally, and you're going to be out in the world taking care of business. That's what we're all about. So let's talk about all the great careers that you can target. But first of all, I want to give you our approach, how we're prioritizing these careers. First of all, we take a look at those careers that have huge annual growth rates. Which jobs in information technology are just blowing up? And I'm talking 25% growth annually, minimum. That's what we're after in these gigs. Next, we're looking for that projection of created jobs by the end of 2020. We're looking for at least a couple hundred thousand jobs created in that time frame, or annually, I should say, per year. And then we're looking for the average beginning to mid-level salaries to be solid and approachable. But more importantly, we want to know that you can hit six figures in four years of doing that job, four or five years. Now, here's the thing. You can't phone it in. you got to get your hustle on, like Rick Ross says, and bust your booty and make it happen. But if you do that, those six figures are there for you to achieve. Now, what are they? So mobile application developer, big surprise, totally in demand. If you're at it for a few years, you can get to 150. Gonna have to work hard for this one. It's gonna take a lot of dev skills that you're really gonna have to get the speed on, but you can do it. Database administrator, always in demand. After four years, five years, you can definitely get into 140, 150. You know, beginning salary, you're probably looking at somewhere in the 70s. But huge growth, there's so much demand, especially when you look at folks that are doing things like BI-related work. But hey, speaking of BI, BI architect, this job is so in demand, no one really understands it. If you've got a finance background, accounting background, and you are sick of accounts payable or receivable, it's time to make a change. BI architect's going to be a great gig for you. We've got a great module on that one. Next, we've got technical project manager. My personal favorites, I do a lot of technical PM work. These are always in demand, but it's hard to find good technical PMs because at the end of the day, the success of a project, and we're talking big projects, seven-figure projects, rely on the PM, and you need solid PMs to make that happen. So if you're motivated, organized, good with people, that's a great way to go. Application developer. We got lots of apps. We're moving everything to an app model. We'll talk about what that means, but good developers are always in demand. Video game developer. Got to make those games, Xbox, apps for the phone, PlayStation, whatever it is. Video game development just keeps blowing up. You know, we spend more money on video games than we do on movies in the U.S. So that's just going to keep going and going and going. Business systems analyst, you can definitely get to six figures. You know, you got to work at it. But, you know, especially if you're working as a contractor or a consultant, business systems analysts are always in demand. And they're such a critical part for every technology project. Information technology manager. This is all over the map. You know, you could start like 90K or get up to a quarter million. It just kind of depends on your specific IT role. 
But if you're a tech dev, database administrator, and you're like, okay, I'm bored, I wanna grow, then you would look at becoming an IT manager. And again, these guys make a lot more money you know, over the long term if you're able to get into a good role and grow accordingly. Technical staffing sales. So I put this one in last, and it, I know it may seem out of place here, but the reason it's there is because there definitely is need for solid salespeople, and staffing is such a huge part of how IT works. If you look at most IT departments for major companies, I guarantee you at least a third of it is staffing or consultants. And folks who can get out there and work with companies and provide great resources make a lot of money. I have a friend, she makes close to half a million a year selling technical staffing. So again, based on the criteria, growth, how long does it take to achieve these careers? How much money can you expect to make You know, over the long run? These are the great jobs. And we've also chosen jobs that you can get into in as little as six months. For example, business intelligence, not BI, but business systems analyst, you can get that job in six months. Technical project manager, if you really bust your butt, you can find one of those jobs, at least at entry level, in six months. Technical staffing sales, you can find one in six months. So we have a whole module that will walk you through point A to point job in six months included as part of this program. I just want to point those out right now. So in addition, we're going to provide you all the links to the certifications you're going to require. Because if you remember, certifications are a big part of this process. We don't want you going back to a four-year school. We want you working as soon as possible. So we've included overviews of all the certifications you're going to need for those specific roles. And for those that don't maybe have an appropriate certification path, we've made recommendations for like more formal training as well. So we're gonna take you through it. Right now, you've gone through, you've gotten the fundamentals, you know all the kind of moving parts. Now we're gonna show you all those great jobs you can do in IT, and then we're gonna show you how to get certified and start your career. We hope you're still excited. We hope you're still having a great time. Stay with us. Let's go through these nine careers and we're really looking forward to sharing this information with you. All right, thanks.